Retention will make you understand what she is saying. In this video, I want to talk about how retention changes the quality of your conversations. And it's just going to make your conversations so much deeper when you're speaking to women. And because of that, you're actually going to increase the attraction that you get from women when you talk to them. So my experience with conversations has kind of, it's been very strange over the last few years because talking to women used to be something that I found impossible. I found that I used to feel like if I needed a dictionary or an advanced PhD in how to conversate with women because whenever I spoke to them, even when I was in school, you know, it just felt like if I was saying the wrong thing all the time, I'll get angry reactions from them. They'll be like, go away. I'll just be like, I don't want to speak to you. They just they didn't they didn't like like me at all. You know, it doesn't matter who it was, it doesn't matter what I was saying. I just I got an angry reaction from women when I spoke to them. But when I started retention, it, it did a complete 180. I started doing things instinctively and subconsciously that I'd never done before. And they started getting reactions and emotions from women that I've never seen before. So I started listening more carefully. I started seeing them, uh, women start to emote more. They had more emotions when they were speaking to me. And I, I suddenly started having this feeling where I could actually sense the emotion of the, of the um, conversation. It almost felt like if before a woman was speaking in black and white, but now when she spoke, everything that she spoke had colors to it and I could actually feel what the colors meant and I could react appropriately. So I'm going to talk about a few experiences that changed for me when I was conversating with women and how it led to a change in their behavior, which possibly hints to their attraction towards me. The first thing that started happening and it was very obvious for me, especially beyond 60 days, is I wasn't afraid to keep eye contact during a conversation. Um, and this may be a hangover from when I was in school. When I was in school, when I used to speak to a girl, often bullies, people who are called bullies, would kind of butt in the conversation and push me away and like, what are you doing? Whatever, just to kind of take the mick out of me and stuff. So maybe I was always on the lookout, you know, trying to look to see if there's a bully. So subconsciously, I've probably learned that behavior. But on retention, I just, I stopped caring about that. And I actually just started caring about the conversation. And I just kept eye contact. And I wasn't scared of keeping eye contact. And I realized something, or I started seeing something. The women started to smile more in the conversations. They actually started to, like initially, it would just be them talking with a blank facial expression. But I kept kept the eye contact, they started to smile while they're talking, and it just felt like if they were opening up more. And they kind of enjoyed it, enjoyed the conversation with me. And also, I, I realized that on retention, because I, I wasn't binging, I wasn't looking at PMO, I wasn't feeling any shame anymore. And I could look at myself in the mirror, which is funny. I never never used to be able to look at myself in the mirror properly. You know, I used to be almost shameful to look at myself in the mirror and this being able to look at myself in the mirror kind of translated into looking at women giving eye contact with women and i started making eye contact with women and when i was making eye contact with women i started seeing that they were yeah sorry i started seeing myself that i was just less shameful about myself and and so i had that confidence to give the eye contact and obviously as i said they were smiling more and one thing I want to touch on relating to eye contact is what happened when I broke eye contact. You know, when I was looking for my bullies, as, as I used to say, um, I found that when I was looking at a girl and I kind of quickly kind of looked around just to see who else looking or you know, just quickly changed eye contact, which is something I'd learned from school, obviously. But when I broke an eye contact, I found that they started micro expression. You know, they started giving micro expressions of anger, like a slight furrowing of the brows, like kind of like doing that. And I just realized that maybe subconsciously they were just not liking the fact that I was changing, uh, moving my eyes away from their eyes, almost like if I'm hiding something. And actually they were, 
what would happen is that they would cut the conversation short as well, which is funny that the fact I wasn't looking at them in the eyes, they just decided to stop the conversation immediately, which is funny. The second thing is I started listening more to the conversations. I actually, it's not really a listening, it's more that I have nothing to prove. I just felt like I could be there and just listen without having to jut in and butt in with my own experiences to prove something to them because I was already fulfilled. And the fact that I could listen without having to prove anything to them, to attract them, meant that they actually opened up more. I found that they actually started talking more, and talking more and more and more about themselves and I started learning more about them. And it made things so much easier because if I wanted to learn, dig a bit deeper, I could ask them about this point that they just said, or ask them to explain what they did here or there. So the conversations were actually deeper because they're more willing to open up and they really enjoyed that, really wanted to speak more. And actually, um, the more successful I was at doing that, the better the, the relationship or the friendship after that um, became. Another thing which is very, very important for pretty much almost all guys is the speed of the conversation. I found myself slowing down the conversation instinctively. Before retention, I had this eagerness to jump to the conclusion, eagerness to get to the point, eagerness to you know, get to that end goal of being like, okay, now you're attracted to me, let's go on a date, whatever. I just felt like it was an urge to get to the end of the conversation. But with the retention, I just slowed down. I decided to just take it as it comes, each each word as it comes almost. And it's like it's like you know what the you know what the end what the end word is gonna be or the end sentence. You know it's boring in fact, it's quite boring to to listen to these words and these conversations. But the fact that you just are able to slow down and listen makes you completely different to other guys because most other guys rush a conversation they're like trying to bombard blah, 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 blah. okay and this that 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 and okay okay and this means okay let's go on a date they just go all the way to the end but i was just willing to just mm -hmm. mm. all right mm. and how about that did you do that mm. Mm. that's interesting so tell me about that so you see the difference the way I'm actually slowing down and just making it, giving them that space, that increased the attraction so much more. And I did that instinctively for retention. I didn't feel like I needed to learn something. It just it just happened. And um, yeah, it just makes the conversation so much better. And I think the reason why we, we as guys tend to rush to the conclusion or rush to the end result or whatever is because we're being programmed through porn, sorry. But that's the way it is. Like when you're watching PMO, all you need to do is just go on a go on a website, open a tab, scroll through the video to the point that you wanna, you know, the best part of the video. And there, there's no there's no waiting, there's no taking your time, there's no listening. It's literally click, click, scroll through. You don't like that, okay? Click another video, scroll through, you found your perfect part. It's literally programming you to just not wait and not listen and not and not reciprocate, you know, the boredom. Because that's the truth. It's boring listening. It is boring listening to these conversations. You know, when you're when you're there and you're listening, because you've heard these conversations over and over again. They're very basic, very basic topics. But it's important for them. This is how they emote. This is how women relate to you. And if you're not willing to slow down and listen then you're not gonna reach, you're not gonna receive the fruits of your labor in that sense. You're not gonna have a good relationship or good friendship or good conversation in general. So these are the three things I saw changing in myself when it came to conversations. You may experience the same thing on retention. And to summarize, I believe that women are very sensitive to this presence, this ability for someone to listen and not jut in and not rush to the end conclusion. And I believe this is what women really seek when they say they're seeking the sensitive, the sensitive guy, the sensitive alpha. 
They're looking for a guy who is not only good looking and confident in themselves, but is so confident in themselves that they don't need to rush and butt in the conversation. They can just slow down, listen and let the girl speak. That's what they mean when they mean they want sensitivity in a guy. And that's what they're really attracted to. And that instinctively happens on retention. You don't need to be taught it. I believe we even have genes in ourselves for conversation and how to properly do these things because the fact that it happened to me without any training um, just shows that these things are probably there's somewhere in our genetics that they're ingrained. So semen retention just somehow helps bring them out without you having to do anything. If you found this video insightful or helpful, hit the thumbs up button because it helped the video get forwarded to more people and help the channel grow. A lot of you haven't subscribed, so subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.